Hi everyone, Anton Collignon here. I'm going to show you my settings for doing uh, for rendering animation inside Cinema 4D and Octane Render. Uh, yeah, I will quickly go over the scene. Uh, I have a ground with some texture. I have my APC, my APC with some texturing also, and uh, some light here. And basically, I want the the animation to be a loop that I will post later on Instagram. And it's basically, you know, an idle uh, APC with some blinking light. And it just go forever, okay? I also have a spotlight here and the HDRI dome, okay? So what I start to do when I when I when I do animation, I just put those value to zero, and I slowly, slowly, incrementally increase those value until I'm I have something that looks nice. Then I just store a render buffer here to compare with the, the max value to see how much I'm losing. Okay. And as you can see here, I don't lose anything. Yeah, the, the lightning is pretty much uh, the same, so I will keep those value here. It will speed up the render. And when when I'm done with this, I just start, I, I, I go to my uh, edit render settings. And I just fire up a render uh, by using old GPU, but time limit three seconds. Okay, I don't want to, to spend tr more than three seconds per frame uh, at the beginning just to just to debug what need to be done. Okay, I can already tell here there is some firefly and whatnot, but I want to see how it reacts. Okay, so let's see how it looks. So here I have enough frames to debug what is going on. Okay, so let me play it. So you can see it's pretty. Yeah, there there is some some main issue here. The, the first is those file flies, uh, those odd pixel, the white dots, and I can see here that my my noise from my depth of field is all over the place. You know, it feels super super teary, if I can say. So I'm going to fix those issues right away. Um, let me fire up a render here. Are we good here? Okay. So you can see here um, there is two options to remove those fireflies. You can either use the denoise denoiser or you can use the built-in uh, hot pixel removal. That doesn't it doesn't affect the rendering time because it's an algorithm that that goes through your rendered image. And uh, keep in mind that denoiser, you usually need to add one or two seconds of denoising uh, depending on the resolution size. And uh, I tend to not use denoiser. Uh, I only use it when it's really, really needed with some volume and whatnot. But for this kind of scene, I would just use hot pixel removal. So I'm just going to decrease this until, I, until the white dots disappear. You have to be careful with this one because if you go all the way down, you can see that we don't have any more any crispness anymore, so you, you need to to be careful with this one. I want to be yeah, maybe this amount I think it will do the job. And I also want to to increase just a little bit the sample. Okay. And here we can see that we are at six seconds and I want to to speed up the render. Okay, so the first bar was more debugging, uh, having the, the, the most beautiful image in the the minimum time and now we want to decrease this, this render time again. And uh, oh, and also an important setting here that I'm also using a lot is Caustic Blur. Uh, it can help with those uh, Firefly that we don't see anymore but maybe we, we will see them again. And I use Caustic Blur to just blur a little bit uh, those stuff. Here we are at 6 seconds, so the first setting for speeding up the, the rendering time is Courier and Ratio. And don't use a, a setting higher than that for a, a animation. And also to tackle the, the tearing noise in the depth of field, I use Static Noise. So this way it will look more uniform. We can already see here it, it looks more uniform than it, if it's not here. You know, it feel Yeah, with Static Noise it, it, it's more unified. Now we are at 5 seconds for 400 <coughs> excuse me, 400 sample. So I will also use adaptive sampling to see how much 
how much I can gain from this. Uh, five seconds. Okay, here my settings for adapt adaptive sampling are a bit too high, especially for this amount of sample. So I will reduce the th threshold and uh, the minimum sample required. Uh, let's say this amount. Let's see how much. So the goal here is, is to have as much as green as possible, but not too much because you end up with uh, unfinished uh, render. And uh, at this point I will just fire up a render to see how it looks so far, okay? So at this point I will stop the render and see how, how it looks. And you can see co compared to the first render, which was super... We already made a big improvement and yeah, there is there is a few uh, file flies, but it's not that that boring. And maybe denoise, yeah, the denoise can can fix this and I will, I will use it to show you how, how I use it. But it will also, as I said, it will also increase the render time, the total render time, it's, yeah, it's a bit of shame, but at, for this kind of, of settings, I really need to use the denoiser to have a really smooth uh, animation. So with this enabled, I will uh, I will end up in the render settings and use the denoise beauty pass. Uh, okay, I can I can start to render it. So I'm just going to check how it reacts now with the denoiser. You can see here the render time increased by three seconds. So I'm not super happy with it, and you can see that. There is still some some weird artifact going on. It's not really artifact. It's just some white dots. But it it's not really different from this one. So it's a bit cleaner though. It doesn't. Yeah, it's a bit of preference. I I will stay with those settings now, and I will render the full uh, the full video. So I'm going to just uh, add a little uh, little color grading on top of it and fi fine tune the settings. You know. Instead of using the denoiser, I will uh, slide down the hot pixel removal slider again. So I'm going to use here a custom LED. And the post processing. Uh, Okay, uh, and so the hot pixel remover here. So I'm removing the denoiser and I'm going to tune down these settings again. So now I'm going to let it render and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Alright, so it took, uh, yeah, less than 20 minutes. Let's see how it looks now. And yeah, it's fine, I guess. There is some slight flickering, but uh, it does the job, you know. It depends a bit on how much you want to push it. But this is basically my workflow for animation. Uh, yeah, I, as I said, it's really project de dependent you know sometimes I will just I, I have more time so I just use uh, more sample uh, more more 
less, uh, less odd pixel removal, more denoise if I have more time. But here, it, as it's a simple animation, I want it to be fairly quick to render. Okay, so just a recap here, uh, those settings here, this is to, to fine tune the render to gain some time. Um, and this zone here is really about speeding up the render, the Korean ratio, the adaptive sampling, and the static noise is super useful for animation. I almost always tick it because it, it, it looks more uniform this way. And uh, yeah, hope you liked it guys and cheers! Now when she's burning, I'ma chill for a minute Cause ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm a finish yeah. And that's relevant, real deal, holy fear And now you hooked up and hoes know how I feel Well, if it's good enough to get one off a proper chunk I take a small piece of some of that